Welcome to another rainy day, good to see you again. This is a quick video on planting celosia or coxcomb as it's commonly known, more propagation means more flowers, which we all love to have. This is a really quick and simple video. It's called a coxcomb because the wrinkly flower resembles the head of a rooster. Although when the flower is large enough, it actually looks more like a brain. The Celosia cristata which you are seeing do not produce a lot of seeds, as you will see later on in the video. One interesting fact, they almost went extinct due to this. Another interesting fact about this flower is that the seeds are under the flower versus other flowers which have the seeds located at the top. Let's go ahead and grab one of the Celosia heads from the back garden, so we can show you how to propagate and plant more of these one-of-a-kind flowers. Flowers are multi-tiered and one plant can grow many extra branches with single flowers on them. This helps with not only providing more beauty but also for providing more seeds for planting. We now have the celosia head that we are going to use for planting. Notice the fuzzy brownish stalk towards the bottom? That's where we will scrape the seeds off for planting. You can usually take the seeds once the flower is mature and starts browning. This will ensure that you have viable seeds that will grow. The flower that we cut is fairly large. Most flowers are small, but if you are blessed to have a large flower, Use this for propagation as it will give you bigger and sturdier plants with more flowers. Wow, that's beautiful. Oh, yeah, that's beautiful. You can use any sharp object like a knife or scissors to gently scrape the bottom part. You will see black seeds, which are about the size of mustard seeds start to fall. The specimen that we are going to use for propagation is perfect. As you can see with the flower that we cut, this one is almost 7 to 9 inches in length and covers my whole hand. To get flowers this large, make sure that you provide proper watering and nutrients to the plant once it starts growing. We'll only scrape a little bit off of one side for this tutorial video. You can place the head in an arid dry place so that you can preserve the seeds. Seeds can keep up to one year or more with the proper storage, as we will be discussing in one of our future videos. Once you're done scraping, gather up the seeds. Also, gather up the brown leaves that fell off when we were scraping the plant. There might be some seeds stuck in between the dry matter and we don't want to waste them. While we're gathering those seeds, here's another helpful fact about Celosia cristata. The flower is commonly grown in Africa and is used as a vegetable. The flower, its leaves, and seeds can actually be eaten. The leaves are mostly used for soups or salads. The flowers can be steamed, boiled or stir-fried into any meal. Seriously? Celosia flowers can also be propagated using cuttings. Use older stems, remove the leaves and place them in some water. Roots will form in about 3 to 4 weeks. Plant in a pot or in your garden after roots have formed. Get any container and place some garden soil inside. I've used the top of a plastic cup, since we are big on recycling here. The plastic cup is perfect as it already has a drainage hole at the bottom and is great for growing seedlings in. Transferring the seedling once fully grown, is easy. All you have to do is turn the cup upside down and the plant will fall out, along with its root ball. Gently place the seeds that we scraped into the container. Notice, the container has about a quarter inch of space from the top. This is so we can add more soil once the seeds are inside the cup. Cover the seeds with planting soil, do not cover them up to the top of the container. Make sure that they're just barely covered with the soil so that they can sprout up easily.
Give the soil a good light watering. The seeds will germinate and you can see them start coming up, anywhere in between a week to two weeks. Once the seedlings have three to four true leaves, you can then transfer them to the permanent pot or planting space in your garden. Hope you enjoyed this short and quick video, smash that subscribe button and like to stay up to date on our planting projects. Have a great day!